and a grand hello to you YouTube and all you YouTubers out there. Um, Tolstoy Kafkaevsky here with a really messy desk last night after more Metal Gear Online. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my airsoft goggles, which can only mean one thing: that it's laundry day. No, that um, yes, I will probably, most likely, definitely, right now, be doing an airsoft review. Everyone, dance! <laughs> Okay, um, so anyway, um, basically every weekend me and my brother go out because in the house you feel so penned up to the point where the madness sets in, and, um, right, so, uh, we always go out and we end up going to Sports Authority and Dick's, and there's one more. No, that's it. The only two places that are around here, oh, and Walmart, Walmart never carries anything new. The one place that sell them, sell airsoft guns in the, uh, you know, brick and mortar, it's right there. You can buy it and take it home, not the internet. I really don't prefer that only because they have, A, a really limited selection, and B, really crappy prices. But for some reason, he doesn't want to buy off the internet because... So, he, for a while, he was buying, like, all these crappy pistols. Half of them are broken, half of them are okay. I'm probably going to do a exclusive pistol lineup review on uh, holy crap batman www.holycrapbatman.com on TKE's blog so take a look out for that um, I know I promised more videos some of them got lost in the editing process while I was just in this bog of confusion I'm still there but I'm pretending like I'm not white dancing a lot yeah I, I do that like every afternoon um, so without further ado I give you the I forgot who made it. I could look at the box, but I'm a lazy POS. He finally bought an automatic rifle, um, and it's supposed to be like an M4. Uh, except for normally, well, I'm not complete. Ooh, I don't even know what that does. Oh man, I discovered something I can do, and I don't even know if I should be doing it. I shouldn't. Um, anyway. Uh, it's supposed to look like the M4 Custom, I think, and of course you got your tactical grip here, uh, which uh, is one of the things I think that a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the soldiers in Iraq are doing now because, it, you know, it's a modern thing these days to, like, to stop, you know. But, oh, by the way, spoiler, not a spoiler alert, just a shit warning. All you crazy Milsim freaks, this, this video is not for you. Just, if you're a Milsim freak and you already know everything about this gun and I'm pronouncing the hanging danger and the hanging brand of brand model wrong, then just go, go home. Not for you. Go away. Turn it off. Um, okay, how do I know where to begin? Oh, here we go. DPMS Panther Arms, trademark. I've seen some Panther guns around. They do, like, this one called, like, the Black Panther M16. They do another one called, um, the Something Dangerous Here Kitty, I, I forget. And that's just in the stores. I did see a FAMAS there in the stores. Like, just for some reason, one day, a new gun, FAMAS, right there. Full black for exact replica of the old model, except for they're like, well, it's $40, and it's a spring gun. Because we made a replica of an automatic gun that's single action. Hooray! Like, stupid. Alright, enough, uh, yeah. Okay, so get down to the nitty gritty. Back in the stock here is where you store your battery. Ingenious! And, um, you do it, I think, yeah, you gotta slide this off. I could technically, there you go, you can see it kind of sliding. You can see that? I can take it off, but the battery stuffed in there pretty pretty snugly, so I really don't want to mess with that. Um, I always thought M4s, like on Metal Gear Solid, uh, uh, the cheater gun um, on Metal Gear Online, M4 does not come with this wee little top thing that handle. I thought M16s did. I don't know. And the flip-up side I recognize, although that's supposed to be back here. I don't know anything about the M4. I just know what I've seen from Metal Gear Solid. And of course, here you got your tactical grip. Um, clip loads in here. Of course, there's a whole bunch of... Here's a weird little flappy thing. I don't know what that does. Does anyone know what that flappy thing is that... Well, I just pressed it in. There you go. Um, on the other side, uh, oh yeah, where's your clip ejection? It took me an hour and a half to find it. Here you go, this button. I clicked like a million freaking buttons trying to like, is this it? Is this it? Uh, does this do it? Um, on this side, you have, of course, your settings here. So you have it on, you know, uh, let's see. Right. You have it on safety, semi-auto, which if it's not loaded, and I don't think it is, semi-auto, and of course, the ever-popular full-auto. 
Right. So, she sounds like an AEG. Um, if I could comment on the body, I mean, just, yeah, you're going to get a glimpse of my horribly messy desk. And you're sitting on top of Neil Gaiman's American God. It's like a really crappy book by Neil Gaiman, but it's like the best prop to the camera, so I keep it. Um, okay. Is that uh, every bit about it is normally plastic, and that does make it feel light, cheap, and plasticky. I mean, the light part is good, but the cheap and plasticky part, no. So, I mean, plastic, 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 plastic. Um, all the plastic. So, yeah, and there's the logo. All right, you're a panther thingy. Maybe you recognize the kitty. Um, right, so it's all, yeah, pretty plasticky. Oh, the site is crap. I mean, I'm sure that you, there's a way you can center the site, but by, like, twisting all these knobs and pulling all this crap I'm not supposed to, but I haven't tried yet. Um, not that it matters, but here's the clip. Um, one thing about the clip is is that this little scroll mechanism that, of course, feeds the BBs into the main chamber, not a good mechanism, not the best mechanism. In fact, it's kind of the biggest one, the biggest pain that I've experienced so far of all these uh, reservoir clips. But, um, of course, as if you've never seen an action movie, she loads in like that. Which means I better put it on safety. That's good. It's on safe right now. Alright, so we're probably going to do some tests. Um, I don't think I really have anything more to say about it. It's not my gun. It's my brother's gun. I didn't want to waste $90 in a store. Didn't feel like wasting my money on that. However, let's go get some good action shots while I look like a freaky gnome in these goggles. Woo!